Well, hi, good morning. Thank you so much for joining me in my shop. This is the third day on this machine, which I thought I would just poke around with for maybe 20 minutes and then set aside. And that could be where this is headed anyway. Uh, because at this point, my, my only reasonable conclusion is one of the two motors in here is defective. And so with a defective motor, it's, it's never going to operate properly. But I'm willing to stick another day into it. One of the things I... Uh, sort of dreamed up while I was thinking about this was uh, just how you can draw a line down the middle of this machine and you see that each side is a mirror image of the other pretty much entirely okay so there's you know this control is not in the middle this one is right in the middle so what that tells me is <coughs> and it function it looks like <coughs> excuse me record one track in this direction and record on the other side of the tape in this direction then this, this symmetry side by side symmetry starts making a lot of sense that everything just be duplicated one side to the other and when you operate the direction selector and things like that you're just applying uh, drive wheels and stuff like that to the right part to get the drive going in the right direction and what that tells me is Whatever this motor is doing, this one should be doing too. And what is it doing? You turn the unit on, and this motor runs. And it just runs, runs, runs. And it's very typical in these old uh, tape recorders that the motor is just always running, sometimes in neutral. When nothing's happening, it's just running in neutral. The symmetry, that motor always running, this motor should always be running. That's got to be the case. That's what I've that's what I concluded and of course the motor over here doesn't run the reason for it who knows right now um, I have observed an odd wire um, which I, I really don't know what to make of it this, this thing on the side here I was uh, curious about I think you can even see it right here where I'm pointing at this little wire right here uh, it, it perhaps it's absolutely nothing. I'm just barking up a wrong tree again. <clears throat> I don't know. But we're going to poke around a little further today, and this will probably probably be the end of it. Um, probably. Unfortunately. But first, I was rummaging around my house, straightening a few things out, and I came across this. It's just a record. You know, just a... Uh, Nestle's Quick record from Nestle's Quick. Really? Yeah, Nestle's Quick. Favorite stories and songs from Nestle's Quick. What do I want to show you? Just before I go for my uh, first coffee break, flip it over. Bambi, Grimm's Fairy Tales, and a couple of kids listening. What are those kids doing? They're drinking coffee. They're drinking coffee. Look at them coffee achievers. There they are. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. I hope you did too. Now I'm going to go drink some coffee and then we'll, we'll do something to this machine. I don't know what. Okay, just in giving it some more thought here. Uh, if the situation is one of the motors is shot for some reason, I guess an open winding or something like that, then we should be able to prove that in fact, that should be the only focus right now, is proving that the motor is good or bad. How to do that? Well, if it's true, what I've come to conclude is uh, both these motors should be spinning all the time when this unit's switched on. Then, if the motor's defective, it will have power coming to it, but it just won't be turning. So, that's the name of the game. Find out where I can test if there's power coming to this motor when the unit's switched on. Okay, uh, let's get the other camera going here and we're going to hunt around for where the uh, wires go from the motor. So if we start here, there they are. Now how many are there? Probably just two. the black one come from uh, 
trying to feel it. <laughs> Sure looks like two. My my finger there. Two wires. Okay. Well, that makes perfect sense. Come back here. Now we're going to try to trace the wires. For some reason, one is red and black down close to the motor, but just black up above here. Maybe the red one's just behind. Let's see if we come over here. So one is yellow black and the other is red black. Well, there, there's a red black. Um, you can see it better like that. And there's a yellow one. Two, two yellow ones. So this yellow one is going to the motor, and this red one is also. Nope, it's going to the other motor. So there's a red one in behind there. I'm not sure what you're seeing on the camera right now. Uh, it's going up in behind us. What is actually, I think, a bank of capacitors that's coming down the other side. That's the red one. Okay, so just to be a little more specific here. The uh, this yellow one is coming from the motor, and this red one here, not this one, but this one here, is coming from the motor. And why, why would they? Kind of weird, eh? A yellow and a red, and a yellow and a red. Oh, spin the motor in different directions. So if everything is, if I figured everything out, there should be motor voltage right here. If there's motor voltage here, then there's motor voltage on the wires coming into the motor and the motor's not turning. That'll be the end of that. This might be a short, short, kind of a short video here. Uh, let's get the voltmeter out. Okay, that's going to read. 120 volts AC. If it's there, I'm going to practice before I uh, go ahead. This is pretty easy to do. One there, one there. This is really quite easy. Hardly no need for practice. I had to practice to find out there's no need for practice. Safety. Um, I could have this flat, but it's not going to turn anyway. It's just going to come on. This is set to neutral. This is switched, switched on. Okay, power on. There we go. Power is on. One motor spinning. We now go looking for the voltage. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> if both motors are hooked up to the same terminals and one of them is spinning and one is not, that pretty much tells you right there. There has to be voltage here for driving the motors. Okay, can you see the voltmeter? Can anybody see the voltmeter on AC? Okay. Whoops. There, what do you see? Is my elbow in the way? It is. Son of a gun. <laughs> well, it's 118. It's all there. Voltage is there. Motor's not blocked. I can turn it myself. Uh, I think, unfortunately, we have to declare this guy uh, a dud. You know, unless somebody's going to take that. Let me turn the power off. Before I forget, unless somebody's going to pull that uh, 
motor out and rewind it. That's it. Or you have to get another record player or tape recorder, probably identical to this one, or a model or two away to get exactly the same motor. And what do you, you know, you're robbing Peter to pay Paul at that point. It's rather untenable to try to repair this, I'm afraid. For me, I mean, if you're a big time hobbyist, or if you're really into tape recorders and you've got 10 of them, maybe you can get through this. But, uh, but I can't. I'm going to abandon it right now. The next uh, project, uh, radio project, to come in here is waiting already here at my house. So tomorrow I can start working on that. This guy, in the meantime, I am going to uh, just put him back together. And uh, the way it goes. Too bad. Hey, maybe we should test that magic eye. Should we test the magic eye? really clipped in here. Wow. Oh, that ever stuck. Oop, sorry about that. The reason I'm going to test this is because my tube tester is all set up for doing a magic eye. So we can do it. Just check the uh, number on this. It's uh, rubbed off. But I don't think there's any doubt this is going to be a. Uh, <clears throat> well, let's try it and see what happens. 6U5, 6G5. Doesn't report any shorts. Now the way this works, I have to uh, dull down the lighting in here, that's for sure. Okay, so can you see the eye is, is green? Yep, you can see it. And then to test it, all I gotta do is just move this lever, and the eye should open and close a bit. And there is some movement there. So, you know, like a lot of these tubes, it's, I mean, it's not really bright. It's dull. Oh well. Okay. Um, I think that's it. I don't know what else to do. Um, I was really hoping to hear what's on this tape, but we're not going to hear it. So, kind of too bad. Oh well, not everything makes it. In fact, nothing makes it all the way, does it? Well, thanks a lot for watching this quick little short uh, video and uh, on, on to a radio next.